We are tracking all the battleground states in this final election battle of 2023. Now, one state that perhaps doesn't get enough attention, sadly, is the state of Mizoram. But this election in Mizoram is a particularly important one. Why? Well, remember, Mizoram is bordering Manipur, a state which has gone through ethnic violence and continues to simmer at the moment. And there is a fallout, of course, of what happens in Manipur on the politics of Mizoram, given the tribal configurations. The Mizor National Front, the ruling party, the Zoram People's Movement and the Congress are all in the fray. The BJP, uh, interestingly, uh, the Prime Minister chose to cancel his visit uh, to Mizoram and the BJP is seen very much as a marginal player. So it's a triangular battle, the MNF, the opposition Zoram People's Front and the Congress, all of which will be vying for the 40 assembly constituencies. Total number of polling stations, 1,276, 525 in urban areas, 751 in rural areas. But a lot of attention will be focused this time on the Zoram People's Movement. Is this going to be the dark horse in Mizoram? Let's go straight across to Suryagni Roy. He's been tracking all the developments in Aizol. Welcome, Suryagni. Two elections unlocked. Is there a sense that change is in the air, that the ZPM, a party which has had many ex-Congress members, a lot of members of civil society coming together, could actually be an option to the MNF or Congress? What's the sense you're picking up? Who seems to be pulling, who seems to have the edge as we head into polling tomorrow? Well, uh, you know, historically speaking, if we look at the history of uh, Mizoram, uh, since the late 1980s, it's been uh, two years uh, terms for the Congress and then two year terms for the uh, MNF. So technically, uh, the last election MNF, that's the Mizo National Front, they won. But as you rightly mentioned, that there's a new player in this particular battle, that's the Z uh, Zoram People's Movement, which has, uh, you know, former stalwarts of the Congress over here. Whether or not people accept a new political front over here or whether or not, uh, you know, uh, they go back to the old players, that is the Congress and the uh, Mizo National Front is something that only time can say. Yes, the, uh, the ZPM, the Zoram People's Movement, they are of the opinion that time has, you know, we have tested, like we as in the people of Mizoram have time and again tested the Congress and the MNF and both of them have failed. The state is where it was in the late 80s. So it's time for a new uh, new party which will take the state forward, will make it one of the best states of uh, the country and particularly the best state of uh, uh, Northeast. Right. So only, you know, time can say on third whether or not uh, Lal Duganga will be able to make a dent in this particular election. One very important aspect, Rajiv sir, that I really want to mention to all our viewers, uh, you have covered so many elections. Uh, um, we have also covered a few here and there in the past couple of years. We have seen how election campaigns have happened throughout the country but when you come over here and when you capture the election campaigning over here it is so so peaceful so silent and so civilized that uh, you know the entire country should take a cue from it there is a body called the Mizo uh, People's Forum it's a church backed civil society body which makes sure that no unethical practices happen in during the election pro election campaigns you will not see mega rallies you will not see mega banners posters loud music it happens in a very very civilized manner right. where in a community center of a constituency people come in voters come in and they you know uh, share their grievances and speak to the leader so it's something that the entire country should take a cue from back to you